My name is Benji Meltzer. I'm one of the co-founders and the CTO of, of Aerobotics, and that involves looking after all of the product development side of things, so engineering and, and data science. So Aerobotics is looking to help farmers manage their risk throughout the season, mainly by using aerial imagery to collect data at scale and building all of the tools around us to help farmers intervene in the right time and, and at the right place. Um, so it's all about kind of early problem detection and, and helping farmers make more informed and actionable decisions. Yeah, I think from a product um, sort of technology and a data perspective, it's an extremely complex space. Um, we're trying to bring digital solutions to quite a traditional market. Um, and it's just something novel that, and, and a lot of the work hasn't been done before. So it's extremely kind of unique cases to build products that generalize well enough across different farms and different geographies and different types of crops um, is, is very challenging. Um, and as a result, kind of the amount of innovation and um, invention that's needed is, is really high. So I think just the opportunity to really um, disrupt uh, within the industry is, is huge. So I think yeah, there's, there's so many highlights, like honestly coming into work every day, kind of being surrounded by the people that, that we're surrounded by is, is such an amazing kind of space to be, um, just, just some of the smartest people around and um, it just really is like a highlight every day. Um, I think there's a couple kind of key points that stand out outside of that, um, apart from the fundraising and kind of the, the celebration that, that's come with each of that on the technical side, the recognition that we've got was kind of um, peaked at, at Google Launchpad, um, where we were picked as one of the top 24 startups in emerging markets around the world and just kind of getting presented on that stage and, and kind of acknowledged from, from a data science and a product and just a, a, an emerging market kind of startup was, was really amazing um, and something that I'm very proud of. I think outside of that, the launch in the US recently and kind of proving that um, what we've been building here isn't just a local product, like there's this sort of global reach and opportunity here and, and it's been just, just very validating and very kind of um, good to see that, that, that there's a real opportunity here and, and the take up has been very rewarding. So the World Agritech Summit is an event in London in October this year. Um, bringing together stakeholders from the agri-technology space from around the world and kind of hosting discussions and presentations talking about advances in, in the space, um, specifically around, around technology and, and commercialization opportunities that, that have arisen. Um, I'll be hosting a panel on behalf of Aerobotics where we're looking at um, AI and predictive agriculture and um, opportunities that, that have come out. Yeah, I think just, just hearing um, a bit more and in a bit more detail about what else is happening in the space from, from kind of thought leaders around the world, also the opportunity to network with other people and kind of connect with like-minded companies to discuss um, sort of what, what we're doing and, and opportunities in different geographies um, is, is really exciting. Yeah, so I, I studied my master's in London um, back in 2014 at, at Imperial College and this will be a really good opportunity to reconnect with um, some of my old classmates, some of the professors, um, so kind of head back to the local pub and just, just kind of get back into the swing of things. It's something I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, so when I'm not at work, uh, I really enjoy getting out. Um, I think just the benefits of, of being in Cape Town, kind of getting outdoors, exploring, hiking, um, getting out to the winelands, um, a lot of exercising, I kind of run and trail run a lot. Um, also reading, um, a lot of time kind of, it's the, the number one way of kind of learning for me outside of just practice and, and on the job. So I spend a lot of time reading. And yeah, I think outside of that, uh, just a lot of work from home.